Good morning everyone, welcome to morning prayer this morning. Thank you for joining us as always, wonderful to join with you. Welcome to those of you joining us live on the St Anne's Facebook page, welcome to you watching us later in the day on St Mary's Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Let's bring ourselves before God this morning with the opening words from the Church of England Daily Prayer Service for Lent, the season of Lent. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. I'm going to talk a little bit about friendship today. So I'm going to begin by talking about one of the greatest biblical friendships, well, reading about them anyway. The friendship between David, before he became king of Israel, and Jonathan, who was the son of King Saul. As I say, in the Old Testament part of the Bible, the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 18. I'll read verses 1 to 4. When David had finished speaking to Saul, the soul of Jonathan was bound to the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. Saul took him that day and would not let him return to his father's house. Then Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as his own soul. Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that he was wearing and gave it to David and his armour and even his sword and his bow and his belt. David went out and was successful wherever Saul sent him. As a result, Saul set him over the army and all the people, even the servants of Saul, approved. Amen. God's word to us today from the book of 1 Samuel. You may remember last week I shared a video with you from our bishop in Southall, Bishop Paul, speaking about how we can live well this Lent. Lent is normally associated with giving things up in order to spend time with God. But Bishop Paul actually asked us to think about Lent this year as more like having a box of chocolates where you can look at the menu and think to yourself, how am I going to treat myself to time with God today or during Lent this year, having already given up so much? Well, the theme of the second week of Living Well in Lent is relationships. All the clergy got an email from the clergy well-being officer at the diocese with a reflection written by Reverend Lydia, who is one of the ministers in Clifton in Nottingham. And she wrote this about relationships. She wrote, sometimes our conversations can be a bit superficial. So to counteract this, you could choose maybe one person you love spending time with 
and aim to have a deeper and more meaningful conversation, or to find out something you didn't know about them, tell them something they didn't know about you, or talk about things you wouldn't do usually. This year has been such a stressful time, hasn't it, for families, and a very isolating time for those who live on their own. So we've been encouraging one another throughout this year to continue to forge re strong relationships with one another, even though we can't meet together in church as a church fellowship and at other church events to have those conversations with one another that help us and give us life. So maybe today, maybe this week, maybe during this Lent, we can intentionally seek those conversations with those friends we know well, with those friends we're getting to know better. Even if it does mean at this time picking up the phone or maybe walking one-to-one one -one with someone who we know. Let's pray to God this morning. Let's thank God for our friendship with him and let's pray that if God is laying anyone on our hearts to go deeper with today or this week or this Lent, that we'll be able to hear that person's heart. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you so much that we can be your friends and for that wonderful truth that even though you are God, you would be our friends and our Father. Lord God, we pray for our relationships one with another and we pray, Lord, that in these difficult days that we would have friendships that would give us life and that would help us. Lord God, even though we're separated often from one another by distance at the moment, we pray, Lord, that we can contact one another, either online or on the phone, or by meeting one-to-one. -one. We pray, Lord, for our relationships to strengthen with one another and to go deeper. We pray, Lord, that you would lead us into those friendships that you would have us have that help us, that give us life. We can know one another deeply and help one another, lead one another on. Thank you for all of the examples of friendships in the Bible and we thank you for the story of David and Jonathan today. We pray Lord that these may inspire us to deeper friendships with one another even in these times. In your name we pray. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
Thank you so much for joining us this morning for morning prayer. Rev Dave will be doing morning prayer tomorrow at 9am. Do please join us for our uh, quiz, which is this evening at half past seven on Zoom. Do email Rev Dave if you would like those joining details. That's a great time of fellowship. And um, also, I had the thought while we were praying that um, some of our home groups are continuing to meet online. And that's certainly my place where I grow in deeper friendship with those in our fellowship. So if you would like to be part of a home group, um, either one that will meet in person after the pandemic or whether you can join one online, then do get in touch with us and we'll be able to point you in the right direction there. May God our Redeemer show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.